Lucy Basbali told me her family hasn't heard from police in months. I asked Metro why. A spokesperson told me generally they only come forward when they charge someone with murder and they still don't know who shot and killed Jeffrey Boyajian. Honestly, I thought they forgot all about the case. Lucy Basbali lives in New Jersey. She was surprised when I told her police made progress in the road raid shooting that killed her cousin Jeffrey Boyajian. Jeffrey grew up in Las Vegas, but moved to California a few years ago. On August 5th, he was driving to Las Vegas to spend his birthday with his mother. He would have been uh, 59 on August 6th. He never made it to his mom's house. The police knocked on her door in the middle of the night and told her that her son was murdered. Police said this white van was tailgating Jeffrey. He and his friend were heading north on I-15 near Blue Diamond. The white van pulled up and someone started shooting. He turned to the girl that was with him and said, we've been shot at, and he pulled over to the side of the road. Thank God, because if he didn't pull over to the side of the road, it could have been an even worse situation. A lot of people could have got killed. Lucy told me she hasn't heard from police since the end of August, when detectives tracked down the white van in Los Angeles County. About two weeks after that, officers charged Marsha Mingo for aiding and abetting. Police told me she is one of three people detectives linked to the case months ago. I don't understand why the family wasn't notified. Number two, I want to know, are they in custody? Are they released everybody? In November, a judge found Mingo incompetent. She's at a treatment facility. The other two people haven't been charged with any crime. It is frustrating. Jeffrey's mother will never know who killed her son. She died weeks after he was killed. I think she, she couldn't deal with it. Because every time I spoke to her, she said, my baby is dead. Jeffrey also left behind an 18-year-old daughter. She flew into Las Vegas to bury her father and then weeks later had to come back to bury her grandmother. I asked police how they linked Marsha Mingo and the two others to Jeffrey's death. I also asked if they believe one of those three people is the shooter. I'm still waiting to hear back. In the Content Center, I'm Kylie Gaylor, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.